guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today, I'm going to be unboxing my FabFitFun Spring 2024 box. I am so excited to get into this box with you guys. As a disclaimer, I did pay for rush shipping this season for the first time ever, but I did that for you guys because... I noticed that there was a really lack of unboxing videos bef uh, before annual customization closed. So I wanted to get this box quick so that I could unbox it for you guys before seasonal customization uh, opened or at least closed. And that way you guys could see another unboxing video. I know several influ influencers like cut ties with FabFitFun and there just seemed like there was a lack of unboxing videos. So. I wanted to get my box and I am so shocked how fast this came. It was originally scheduled for delivery tomorrow and it came today. So I am so excited. Definitely worth the $15 that I paid uh, because today is Wednesday the 7th. We were billed Thursday so I got it in less than a week and that's pretty amazing. Normally my box like sits forever and it normally gets like stuck at like in, in Indianapolis at the FedEx facility. This time it didn't even go through Indianapolis, so that was really exciting, but I'm just excited to have my box. Okay, it's really heavy, but I'm gonna pick it up again. And whoa, dropping stuff. This is what it says, spring 2024 and on the inside, uh, on the top inside lid, it shows like some of the brands that are in the box, but we are going to carefully open this up. Don't wanna drop stuff. Okay. So, you probably know if you watched my other videos what I picked for my customization choices, but I'm going to go over those again with you here. So, my pick for customization one was these sweet laurel dessert plates. I am so excited about these plates. Uh, I will, I did open up this box. I opened up a few things downstairs, like I just got home, got my box, and I opened up a few things just to kind of see... Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit more of just my initial, like, pulling out of the box, um, thoughts, but obviously I just got this, so it's not a real detailed review, but at least I can give you a little bit of a, like, I've had it in my hand review. Okay, I did, what fell out at me was one of the packing pieces with these plates, because I took it out so I could get it back in the box easier, but these plates came really well packed, like, they've got cardboard in between them and they were like really tightly in that box. Like, I don't know if you could hear, it was kind of uh, rattling when I picked up my box. It's because I had already taken out, taken these out and taken one of the cardboard pieces out so I could slide it in easier. Uh, I did get a second one. So like, this was my choice one. And then I added these plates on for $16 because I was like, I love these plates so much. Definitely gonna want a set of eight of them, not just four, but you can see they're not rattling. Like they are in there really well. I feel like this could survive pretty much any shipping condition inside the box because they're really well in there. But so I'm gonna show you these plates. They're so cute. Like they did not disappoint at all. This is the pink one. It's more like has more of like a domedness than I was expecting. Like you could really easily served cheesecake with like a uh, strawberry or cherry or blueberry any kind of topping that's like drizzled and it's not gonna run anywhere because that's like a pretty decent lip like it's not a bowl you wouldn't want to put ice cream in this but that is a pretty decent lip um and then the bottom just says sweet laurel there's no other marking on it so there's two pink I think they're so cute I'm so excited about these plates I am a sucker for plates though. That's one of my big weaknesses, like plates and bowls, little cute, and mugs. I love mugs. Um, oh, there's something, there's something rough on that, but I think it's just like something sticky. I don't know. I'll have to look into that, but okay. And then this is what the floral ones look like. I just think these are super duper cute. Perfect for spring. I am very excited to use these. And like I said, I got an extra box. So I have a total of eight, four floral and four pink. Okay, so right off the bat, that is a win. I'm kind of trying to decide because another, I had a little bit of a selfish reason for getting rush shipping as well. I was like, maybe if I love everything in my box, I will decide that I want to get a seasonal box um, and get another set of those plates. I don't know. I can't decide. Do I need 12 plates? Probably not, but 
I'm a little bit tempted. Okay, so that was category one, what I picked for category one. This Beyond Yoga bag was category two. And it's funny because this was originally not on my radar. And then I saw unboxings and I just decided that I really did like the bag. I don't go to the gym. So this is probably not gonna be a bag used for the gym, but this color is just so cute. Like I was half tempted to get black, but I've gotta be honest with you, we have two dogs and two cats and their fur is on everything. So I figured if I had a black bag like this, like it was gonna be covered in dog fur or cat fur and I just didn't wanna deal with that. So this is super cute. And I have to say, feeling this, the quality is way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's actually, like I wouldn't say it's padded, but it's a pretty thick bag. It might even be slightly padded. If you have the pink Herschel tote that was in a box, gosh, last year at some point, that bag is a lot thinner. Like that is more of a thick canvas, but this one, this is a lot thicker. Like this, it definitely feels like it has some padding. It's lined inside and then there's definitely a material. It, yeah, there's definitely padding in between there. Like you can tell like that's, it's pretty thick. So this is way better quality than I was expecting. I've got to tell you, like my initial ex expectations for this bag were, you know, those cheap like bags that you get, like that have a drawstring that can kind of be a backpack or whatever. Uh, that are just vinyl, like a really thin material. That was kind of my expectation for the material of this, but no, I'm saying this is really high quality. If you are getting a seasonal box and you don't have one of these yet, I highly recommend it. So. I was curious to see how this works. So it has a two way, you can button it here and then cinch it at the top with this string. So that feels like everything could stay in there really secure. Like there's not a flap or anything on the top, but if you're putting stuff in this and using it as a backpack, it's not going anywhere. So let's see if I'm talented enough to put this on as a backpack and let you see what it looks like. The straps are adjustable. I didn't adjust them. Probably should have. It feels like something's twisted. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up. Obviously this is empty, so there's really, there's nothing in it, nothing weighing it down, but that is like a really cute uh, backpack. I'm really loving that. So I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of showing you. I'm like in a really small space right here, but it can be adjusted to be bigger or smaller than that. And then also, if you don't want to use it as a backpack, you just pull this up. Should we see how that works? I don't know. That seems a little awkward. Maybe it's just awkward because I have it cinched. It seems like if you had it like that, you would want it to not be cinched shut. You would just want the snap there. My opinion. That felt a little awkward doing it that way. But this works as well for a tote. Uh, yeah, so now let's look in the inside of this really quickly. And sorry if this is like going into too much detail. I just know that I was definitely looking for more details on this bag. So I just wanted to, like, I want to give you guys the information that I was looking for, that I was hoping for. Um, it's really like big inside, a lot of room. There's a little zipper pocket here where you can put, my zipper is, there we go. The zipper was kind of half open. Uh, you can put your keys or your credit card or whatever in there. This is a really great bag, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I am really glad I got this. This is another one, like my daughter, one of my daughters, actually my youngest. Okay, let me just show you really quick. Here's where the shoe compartment goes. Uh, my youngest daughter plays soccer and she was like, mom, if you don't want that bag, I would totally take it when I was showing her my customization choices. And I was like, no, I definitely want it. But this is another thing I'm kind of tempted to add on one for her in a seasonal box. I think she would really love this. She can put her soccer cleats down here and everything else on the top. This is high quality. Like it is, the material is not what I expected either. It's like softer. It kind of feels like a winter coat, if that makes sense. Like I would expect this material to be like in a light jacket, like a, I don't know. I live in New York, so this is not like a thick winter coat, but like a, it's 30 degrees out and I just want to put on a coat, but it doesn't need to be super heavy. Like that's what this feels like to me. And it even has like lining in it. So anyway, that was a long time spent on this backpack, but I highly recommend this. I feel like this is going to be my go-to, like when we go on an overnight trip or something, throwing in 
uh, a bunch of essentials that I want nearby me. This is great. I love it. And I love the color. It's really hard to see, but I would say it's a a gray, a light gray with like a slightly purple hue to it. It's a winner. Like it's not fully gray. Oh, my curtains are funky behind me. Sorry. I didn't realize that they were like bunched up behind the bookshelf there. Um, It's not like just pure gray, but it's like a purpley gray, a dusty gray. I don't know. Gray is such a hard color to figure out too. I painted my cabinets gray several years ago and I swear it like the paint sample looked different in every room that I put it in. Okay, so that was customization number two. For customization number three, I picked the Aloe Glow System Magnesium Reset Spray. I was back and forth on what to pick in this category, but I have been having problems sleeping lately. I don't know. Part of me thinks we might need a new mattress. Part of me thinks I'm just 46 and, you know, all those like body aches that come with being older. But I thought this would be great to spray um, on my back or on my feet where I have a little bit of like my feet. I have a problem with my feet. Uh, I've got a bone spur and it's really painful to like stand for long periods of time. So I thought this would be great to try spraying on my feet. Um, so I would have the pain benefit plus the like relaxation and rest benefit at the end of the day. So I'm excited to try this out. I did spray it just because I wanted to try it. It has like a slight citrusy. I'm going to just spray a little bit here. Um, it's like slightly citrusy. You can definitely smell essential oil. Like it is very, I'm going to put a little bit, I'm putting it on my back right now so I don't waste that spray. But it's like citrusy but essential oil spray if you've used essential oils you know that like essential oil smell for sure um it's not a bad smell at all though it's like i can see how this would be relaxing i uh, yeah i'm just trying to see is there citrus in here there's a lot of a lot of fragrances i don't know i'm not seeing fruit there's like a bunch of different stuff but it's a good smell it's like, I think someone described it as a spa spell, smell, like spa-like. And I would kind of say that I agree with that, uh, but definitely has that like essential oil scent to it. Okay, so the that was category three. In category four, I, I don't know what it is with me. I'm like not getting extras in many categories, but when I do, I am doubling up. Uh, so this is the African Botanics Muscle Pain Relief Recovery Gel. Like I just said, I have foot pain on one of my feet, and then I have a spot in my back that always hurts. So I thought, okay, this is one that's not open. I thought this would be great um, to use. Muscle pain recovery gel, sounds amazing. Uh, and I got a second one for my daughter. She has lots of joint issues, so I thought that she would like this. Um, This is like super hard to describe the scent. I. So I first sprayed that aloe relief spray um, and I didn't really see a lot of like, cause I sprayed it on my hand, smelled it, and then I rubbed it into my back and I didn't really feel a lot of relief on my back at all. But then I put this, uh, a, just a little tiny bit of it in on my back, like rubbed it in and I rubbed it in to the top of my foot where my pain is. I will say I didn't really feel much difference in my foot, but my back I could definitely feel like the pain lessened a lot. My back just felt tight, not painful, if that makes sense. Um, also, I was going to show you, even though it's called recovery gel, to me, this is not really a gel. It's like lotion consistency. Uh, I mean, maybe slightly. I guess it's kind of like drippy around that. It's just got a weird like white. It seems more like a lotion than a gel. But this uh, smell, it has a like slightly medicinal smell, but if you've ever used like those muscle rubs that are very menthol, this does not have a strong menthol. Like after rubbing it in, like when I had it on my finger, it didn't smell very mentholy. When I rubbed it into my back, it felt, it smells like my fingers smell a little bit mentally, but it's not like overwhelming or overpowering. I don't think anyone who would like walk past me after I put this on is going to smell menthol. I smell cinnamon is honestly what I smell a little bit more. There's a definite 
uh, cinnamon scent to me. So I don't know if there, oh, that is, I'm not going to be able to read that writing. Um, like right now to find that, but I don't know if there's cinnamon in this, but it smells cinnamony to me more than menthol-y. So this, I would say works really well. It took out the tension in my back. Like it's not a, a sharp pain, whereas the pain in my foot is more of a sharp pain when I step at times. And I don't feel like it took that away, but it definitely helped for my back, like the tightness and soreness in my lower back. So that's my take on this. I'm glad to have it. And I think my daughter will enjoy it as well. Okay, so that was number four. Yeah, so I got one for my customization. And I paid $10 extra to get a second of those African Botanics gels. Okay, the next item, if I can find it here, is the Nude Sticks Lip Butter. This, I was getting a little bit nervous about because people were saying that it was kind of sticky. But I tried it on and you can see I don't have lipstick on so I can try it on again for you guys. It does not seem sticky to me at all. I can't, now I can't get it. Oh, there we go. I was like, no, I wasn't getting any out. It feels really good. Like this is what I want a lip butter to feel like. It's thick, but not too thick. It really doesn't feel sticky. It just feels like hydrating. Like I would buy like five more of these if I could. It feels really good. It has slightly minty and slightly vanilla scent to it. It has a slight tingle, like that minty tingle when you, you know what I mean, when you put something minty on your lips, it has like that slight tingling, but not in a bad way. It's like just a little bit of shine. I mean, it's a clear lip butter uh, with shea and avocado. I really like this. I'm glad I got it. Kind of wish I had gotten more. Kind of bummed that it's in category five. So even if I decided that I wanted to get a seasonal, I would just have to cross my fingers and hope that this is what they pick for me for category five. I mean, I'm sure it'll be around in a sale. If it is, I'd definitely be picking more of these up. Okay, so category six, I picked the eight other reasons earrings. And I don't know if you noticed, but I have uh, one of each of the earrings in my ears right now. I wanted to A, wear them for a few minutes and see if they felt heavy to me. Because when I picked them up, I was asking in the forums, people who had had unboxings earlier, I even asked, I was asking Jamie if they were heavy because I can't handle heavy earrings. Now, I will say they're not heavy as in like painful heavy or bother you heavy, but they're a little bit heavier than I'm used to. Like you notice them. If you move your ear, like you feel them move. So I don't know if heavy is the right word, but they're a solid earring. Like you feel them in. It's not something that you're gonna put them on and then forget you're wearing them because they definitely like kind of jingle around. Like they're just a big hoop. So they're not painful. I don't feel like they're pulling on my ears at all, but they're definitely like as comparison, these are the Ana Luisa little uh, earrings we got last season. Those like you put them on and you don't even remember they're there because they're so light. These, I wouldn't say they're light, but they're not heavy if that makes any sense. So I want to show you. So this is the smallest one. This is the middle one. And then I put the largest one on over here. I first had it on by itself. And then I put, I added the little Ana Luisa hoops that we got previously, just so you could see what it looks like. So that's smallest and medium together as a stack. And then that is the largest one with then the Ana Luisa earrings from last season. I think they're super cute. I am really excited to have them. This is what they look like on the uh, packaging here. Like they're definitely hollowed out. You can see that they're hollowed out, but they're just a, still a solid earring, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I am super excited. I don't know how much I'll wear them together. I think they will pair well with like by itself or with a small stud or maybe this small little hoop here, but I am very excited about these. They And they're super comfortable. I, my ears get really sensitive by certain metals and I put these in right away and there's no like itching or bothering my ears, which is good because I actually had earrings on yesterday that were irritating my ears. So I wasn't sure how these would feel, but no irritation at all. So sensitive ear friendly, at least for me, uh, I guess it depends on what you're sensitive to, but I like these. I'm really excited that I picked them. And also in this category, just because I couldn't pass up the deal. I added on the new Co 
hair super thick shampoo and conditioner. These are 250 milliliters and I just since it was a set I was super excited. Um, what did I even pay? I don't remember what add-ons were in this category. I think it was $12 but I could be off. I'm trying to see if it'll show me on the computer here what I paid for it. No. For some reason it's saying $320 which is definitely not what I paid for it. I don't know. It's messed up. I might have had a credit and it's taken part of it off of there. So I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it was $12. I might have been 13 though. I don't know. Either way, I felt like it was a good enough price for these and it's supposed to help with hair loss and my hair has been shedding really badly. So I thought this would be good. Also, one of my daughters has had a ton of shedding. So I don't know. I just figured that this would help both of us. Uh, it's The smell is not what I was expecting. This to me also smells very essential oil. Like it has a strong lavender smell and I did read the back of this after I smelled it and it has lavender and peppermint and I 100% would say I can smell the lav lavender essential oil really strongly and then with a second like to the peppermint smell. It's not a bad smell, it's just very strongly lavender. So I'm excited to try these out seemed like a great deal. Uh, the only add-on that I got in this box, like in the add-on sale, was the $15 rush shipping, but I did add this little style edit root concealer that was free. I got medium brown. I'm actually kind of terrified of it because somebody said that they sprayed, I am pretty sure it was the medium brown, sprayed it on their roots, which I don't color my hair, but I'm starting to get a little bit of gray, so I thought this would be good to cover up some of the gray, but they said that they sprayed this on their hair and it like got over everything like anytime they put their hand to their hair like later in the day their hand their fingernails were getting colored it left like a mark on their shirt or their backpack or something I don't know I think I'm gonna stay away from this to me it's like sounds like not worth the um yeah the mess risk with that so I got it it's probably gonna go in the trash I don't know and then I had one refill this is the Natura Brazil hand cream that was in, I think it was the last box. I'm pretty sure it was the winter box. I love this stuff. I have a tube that is like completely almost gone. I've been using this morning and night on my hands and my feet. And I normally have really dry skin on my heels specifically. And all winter long, my heels have been so smooth. Like I don't think my heels have ever been this smooth. Uh, I did get the hand cream and the foot cream when they were in the box. Both of them are about gone. I use them interchangeably. Like, honestly, just whatever, whichever bottle I grab at night when I'm right before bed. Because I just put this on right before bed. Like, I'm sitting here on my bed. I put it on my feet and on my hands. Uh, but yeah, I reach for both tubes interchangeably. I don't really feel like there is much of a difference, if any, between the hand and foot cream there. But if you are looking for... A great moisturizer. I highly recommend this. And also all winter my hands have not been like chapped. We've had really dry air here because it's been really cold and my hands have been amazing all winter and that never ever happens. So highly recommend that. That's one refill that I'll probably keep in my box. Although maybe I don't need it in the summer. We will see. Uh, but I feel like I probably want to use it on my feet still year round. But anyways that is my box. I am excited that it's here. Now I have to decide if I want to get a seasonal box. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I want to, but I'm also thinking I need to be realistic and I don't know if I really need one, but I really like this box. At first when spoilers came out, I wasn't really sure, wasn't super excited, but now seeing everything and picking my box, I am really happy with my box. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would take a second and do that. And if you, like me, are thinking about getting a seasonal box, I do have a referral code or a link down below that you can save, I think it's 20% on your first box. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.